Today, we're gonna to take a look at a new piece of equipment that I have to share with you. What we're gonna look at is the all new Vineax V11 4K drone. When Vineax reached out to me to review their newly upgraded drone, at first I was hesitant because I already have one of the original DJI Mavic Pro drones and I have carried that back and forth across the country with me, well, at least once back in 2019 and I only ended up using it a couple of times. My main issue with the drone was the time it took to set it up and then of course put it away. As a motorcycle traveler, I of course love to ride, so it's always been more fun to keep riding rather than stopping and spending 30 to 45 minutes getting a drone into the air for a couple of seconds of footage. With my past experiences in mind, I decided to take a look at the Vineax V11 4K drone because after doing a little research, it seemed that it might be a better choice for motorcycle travel than my Mavic Pro. So let's take a look at this new drone and I will show you some of the things I like better. First, the drone comes with this really nice carrying case that includes everything you need to fly the aircraft for up to 70 minutes, that is using two batteries. While this case has a slightly larger footprint, it is very well organized and easy to get the drone and its controller out and set up. Everything is very well protected, organized, and it fits nicely in one of my side cases or in my top box. Another thing I really like is that the batteries can be charged without special equipment. My Mavic requires that I carry this rather elaborate contraption in order to recharge the batteries. In contrast, the Vineax batteries can be plugged directly into any USB equipped charger. This keeps things simple, and simple is always good for motorcycle travel. In my pre-review research, what got me to agree to take a look at the V11 drone was not the drone itself, but the controller. As I mentioned, I did not like how much effort it took to set up the Mavic drone. The controller had to be coupled with your cell phone, and in order to do that, you either had to modify the controller or remove the cover for your phone, which was a pain in the ass. I mean, this is of course if you have a larger phone like I do, which at this point is a Galaxy S21 Ultra. But now with this new Vineax V11 controller, I can easily mount that large phone as my Galaxy S21. I did, however, need to change my phone case, replacing a very thick OtterBox with a more streamlined cover from Crave. But once I did that, everything worked very easily and quickly. The phone is held by the controller from the V11 much more securely than it is with the DJI controller. And I've even figured out a way to mount the controller to my motorcycle, which I will share with you a bit later. Before we continue, let me tell you that the Vineax V11 is not a toy. It's a real camera drone that lists for $639. You can, of course, find various sale prices, and I will include links to purchase in the description of this video, as well as on my website at livingoffthislab.com. If there are any discount codes, I will, of course, supply those as well. In contrast, my Mavic Pro back in like 2017, 2018 when I bought it, cost me over $1,000, and today a Mavic 3 Pro runs around $3,000. Now, there are, of course, several different versions of DJI drones out there with a wide price range. But that top of the line Mavic 3 is going to run you in that $3,000 range. Now, Vineax also has a couple of drones available along with this full size V11. There is a V11 Mini for a slightly lower price point. Now some of the features of this drone include, it is FAA Remote ID compliant, it has flight lights, a two axis gimbal, and a 4K camera. It has digital transmission up to 3000 meters or 9800 feet away. And as I mentioned, it comes with two batteries with up to a 70 minute flight time. There are also several intelligent flight modes, including an image follow, GPS follow, circle of location, and point-to-point -point flight. There's also auto return to home, which is a really cool feature. Now, one thing the drone does not include is obstacle avoidance, so you'll have to pick your flight path very carefully. But it's up to you to avoid those trees and wires. 
Vinix has done a great job of creating video instructions on how to fly this drone, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time covering that. I will link to those videos in the description of this short film. Now I will say that operation is pretty standard when compared to other drones, and I have found the Vinix Fly app to be well organized and easy to use. So let's take a look at some footage and show you how all these intelligent fly modes work because I think that's what's going to be of most interest to we motorcycle travelers. So this first shot is just of the drone flying high above a soccer field. Now this was 4K footage that I resized down to 1080 for this video. Along with flying high above something, you can also get down and skim the ground. I think this makes a really cool effect. One of the intelligent fly modes is to circle a point of interest. Basically, you put the drone straight over what you want to look at, and then you can set the radius of the circle, and the drone will go around that radius and take a look at whatever it is that you want to view. Next, there is a image follow, where you would highlight something on your screen, like me, for example, and then the drone will track me as I'm walking around the field. And then something I know will be of interest to all we motorcycle riders, and that is there is a GPS follow mode. That is where the drone will follow the GPS coordinates of the controller as it moves around a particular landscape. So you can get the drone to actually follow your motorcycle. Now the last of these intelligent flight modes, and one that I haven't been able to try yet, is that you can set up a point-to-point -point route on a map. The idea is that the drone would then fly from point to point and then, of course, shoot video as it goes. Now, as you can see, these intelligent flight modes are pretty cool. And so far, the ones I have tried work really well and the drone takes great images. So I am looking forward to using this in the upcoming riding season to help, well, you know, bring my videos to the next level. Now, there are a few quirks that you need to be aware of before buying this drone. Now, none of them are a big deal, but they're just things that you need to be aware of. So first, every time you start the drone, that's even if you're just changing batteries, you will have to go through a GPS calibration routine. You will have to rotate the craft horizontally and then vertically. And this process takes a few seconds to go through. And of course, there's prompts in the app. So and it's not a big deal, but something you have to get used to. Second, the drone takes an SD card up to 128 gigs and your file footage will be saved to that card. I did have trouble getting this SD card to work initially, however. I formatted it on my computer for FAT32, which is what they say it needs to be formatted to, but it still wouldn't be recognized by the drone. Ultimately, I ended up formatting the card in the drone and then it started working properly. Again, just something you need to be aware of. Another quirk to be aware of is that even if you use an SD card, the drone will still save copies of the photos or videos to your phone. That is, it'll do it through the Vinix Fly app. The videos on your phone will be saved in your camera DCIM Vinix Fly folder. So you'll need to manage that folder and clean it out if you want to save hard drive space on your phone. So the last little quirk that I want to talk about is the return to home function. Now this is a cool function. You just hit the button and your drone will come back to where it launched from. But I found that depending upon what you're taking off from, like for example, I was on AstroTurf, well, the drone didn't know really what to do with that surface. So it would come down, make an attempt to land and then hop up again and then make another attempt. And sometimes it took like three attempts for it to land. It finally did so. Again, no big deal, but you have to understand that based upon the surface you're landing on, the drone may take a couple of tries before it gets it right. Now, even with these little quirks, I have found the Vinix V11 4K drone to be both easy to fly and a lot of fun. So now let's take a look at what I came up with to use this aircraft while traveling by motorcycle. So what I did here was I added a second ram ball mount to the handlebars of my motorcycle. And this one is going to allow me to then place my controller right, and my phone on the handlebars as I'm driving down the road. And that way the drone will be able to follow me. 
So what I did was I went out and I found a GoPro snap mount or clip mount, right, that has a ball on it. So I then attached it to the bottom of the controller. As you see, I used one of the little stick-on clip mounts. So now I can simply connect the controller and the phone to my handlebars via a RAM extension arm. So in this way, the controller, the phone will be very secure and I don't have to touch it. We can just set the drone up to follow me via GPS mode and then I can drive down the road and be a lot safer than some of the other YouTubers that I've seen who actually fly the drones as they're riding down the road. I mean, this doesn't seem like a good idea to me and I think what I'm doing is gonna be a lot safer. So summing all of this up, so far I really like this drone. It is easier to use than my Mavic Pro and it comes with this great case. The Vini XV11 seems to take good images, has some great intelligent flight modes, and is very well priced for what you get. Now of course I've only been able to use this drone a few times so the jury is out on its durability and longevity. I will let you know how those things work out after I've been able to use it over the course of a trip or two. Now as always, do not take my word for anything, always do your own research. Now if you want to purchase this Vinix V11 4K drone, please do so by using the links I have provided in the video description or on my website. I'll get a little commission and will help to keep these videos coming. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Keep riding safe.